Good evening, this is Magus Alofty, and I'm going to be doing my second Transformers review. This is going to be uh, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Nest Global Alliance Lockdown. And uh, as you can tell, you know, here we have Lockdown. Um, as some fans might know, Lockdown, uh, I believe, originally started in Transformers Animated. Um, and I, like I said, I believe it was an original character, even though I'm pretty certain if I'm wrong, somebody will correct me. Um, but anyway, so Lockdown, in his animated form, was a bounty hunter who usually worked for the Decepticons, and Global uh, Nest Global Alliance Lockdown has uh, a similar role. And to the best of my knowledge, this is the first time that... Um, you know, uh, an animated character, or an original character, has been transferred to another line. And, uh, so they're actually, they're, they're, they're quite similar to each other. I mean, Animated Lockdown is probably a little bit bigger than, uh, Revenge of the Fallen Lockdown. Uh, they're both muscle cars. They're both really cool. Um, and so let's just, uh, let's just roll... Animated Lockdown off for a minute. Let's just take a look at this one, okay? You know, unlike most of the movie version Transformers, uh, this Lockdown is pretty much um, very unrealistic compared to other <laughs> um, Bayformers or uh, you know, Movieverse, whatever you like to call it, Transformers. Uh, if you want, well, let's compare him to Barricade here. As you can see, Barricade is quite realistic compared to his, uh, compared to his buddy there, Lockdown. No. I mean, this is, Lockdown is definitely a car you're not going to see in real life ever. As much as I regret to say that, I would love to see this car in real life. Um... So anyway, yes, yeah, so we have the muscle car. Um, it rolls pretty well. I, you know, does a good job. Um, I wouldn't roll it too much on carpet because this little rubber piece will just... It doesn't roll too well on fabric. Unfortunately, this thing just kind of gets in the way. But, um... You know, it has all the same features as animated lockdown. You know, has the spike wheels, the engine... And then uh, comes out and everything. And they're just, you know, they did a very good job, I think, capturing the animated um, counterpart really well, I think. So let's let's transform this guy, okay? First, we're going to take off the engine here. I'm going to put that, put that right back there for right now. And I have to say, these movie version Transformers, they always mess with me, and, and I'm pretty good with transforming these guys, but man, these, these movie verse guys, they just mess me up. Um, you know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it if that happens. His arms just, just love to come off. That's pretty normal from what I've noticed. Um, put the wheels down there. Alright, so his Elbows or shoulders are free to move about now. Now the entire front end, gonna, or the entire back end, is going to... Excuse me. Um, so that's going to come up there like that. Split the legs up. The feet kind of slide down like that on these little sliding dealies. And yes, I believe they're officially called sliding dealies. Um, put the tires back on the hips like that. Alright, so we have the shoulders, they're a little separated. Um, <laughs> comes off again. Um, we're gonna slide up the hand. I'm gonna put that side piece on just a minute, just, it's easier this way. I'm gonna lift the hood of the car and bring it down around the shoulders and the chest. Like that. Like that. Like that. There we go. It's in there. Okay. Um, I'm going to take this little piece and snap it back on. 
Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. The shoulders do slide up. I forgot all about that. So they go up like that. So I put the little ball joint. Sorry about that. Put the little ball joint. Set right back there. Put it right down there. So it's got a little, little shoulder panel. Thingamabob. The hook has this cool little hydraulic thing. Goes up like that. And the door. The door go, you know, uh, rotates about 180 degrees. Get up. There we go. Locked down to being a. Being a. Being a pest right now. And we're going to put the. Uh, his engine block weapon right there on the arm. It fits right there in a the little tab. And uh, head, there we go. And we position them here. Oh. Right, hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll pan up in just a minute. Right, I apologize if I've got a busy background back here. I don't have a backdrop at the moment. Um, but here we have animated lockdown and all of his cool. Hold on, there we go. And all of his coolness right there. And uh, again, he looks very similar to the animated version. I'll show that to you in just a minute. But uh, he has these really wonky legs. I don't really know how they're supposed to be posed too well. But I kind of have him in that bird-like position. So it stands all right, you know. I don't think you'd be able to walk too well with that, with limited knee movement. I mean, I suppose some people could just do that and just really make him lanky. Um, and then he doesn't stand up very well. He has that whole Mech Alive gimmick. If you rotate the leg, see this little part right there? It'll move. See it? Um, let's see. Also, uh, he has a lot of articulation. Even right here on the shin, it rotates right there. And pivot. So you can pose him. You don't have to, you know. I guess I kind of in the place of an ankle, you know. Kind of do that. Now I can look very bow-legged. Um, <laughs> and, uh, overall, I just like Lockdown. He's a really cool figure. He's got a little hook arm. And like I said, the hook and the hand, they're just rubber. Um, I don't you know, really know how I feel about that. I think Hasbro is just trying to save money, and I guess doing that, you know, it's just a way to cut corners. Um, it's got a really cool face. I like that, uh, I like that his, like, neck and head is just segmented, like a, just kind of like a serpent. It's very poseable. He can, you know, look everywhere, look everywhere he wants. And, uh, that's cool. And uh, I'll show you, uh, I'll show other lockdown in just a minute. Alright, so here we have the two lockdowns. Animated and Revenge of the Fallen. And, as you can tell, actually you might not be able to tell from that angle, because I realize that's a, that's a weird angle to be looking at them at. Um... Yeah, um, animated lockdown is taller than uh, his movie version. Well, actually, let me extend the legs all the way. Let's see how tall they really are. Actually, I don't know. Movie version might be just a smidge taller. They're pretty close, if anything. I mean, lockdown is a real lanky guy. He is just, just lanky and gangly with those legs of his. Um, but yeah, so we have the two lockdowns, you know, they're, they're both very accurate, you know. There we go, yeah. Not a badass. Anyway, so, and also, let's take out, uh, animated version, let's put them next to, like, the movie version of Barricade, who fell over. I mean, Barricade just looks like a, this looks like a shrimp compared to, to lockdown. I mean, lockdown could just, you know, just, just take him out, just knock him down if he wants. Um, and so that's pretty much it. I mean, they're just uh, really, you know, cool figures and stuff. And um, 
So, I don't know, this was my uh, review of Lockdown. I was just really impressed with this figure. And I just wanted to put in, you know, give you all my two cents of what I think about him. And, uh, you know, um, I recommend picking him up. Uh, if, if you're like, if you're a fan of animated and you want to see an animated character translated well into the movie-verse, I'd say pick up Lockdown. He's, he's worth the money, I think, for a deluxe. Um, well, that's pretty much it, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, this is Magus Lofty, uh, signing off. Have a good one. Bye-bye.